So I want to take some time to remind everyone what the Democratic Party promised voters before the Georgia election when it comes to $2,000 stimulus checks. We will be able to pass $2,000 stimulus checks for the people next week when we win these races in Georgia and get economic relief directly into the bank accounts of the American people who are suffering right now. By electing John and the Reverend, you can make an immediate difference in your own lives. The lives of the people all across this country, because their election will put an end to the block in Washington on that $2,000 stimulus check. That money that will go out the door immediately, tell people who are in real trouble. They were pretty clear. Pretty clear if you ask me. We got an exact amount, as well as a specific timeline. John Ossoff said we'll be able to pass $2,000 stimulus checks for the people next week. Joe Biden said the money will go out the door immediately. Is that so? So I can't help but wonder, um, where are the checks? Because you've been president now for more than a week, and uh, we still don't have the checks. So what's going on? Now, as many of you know, uh, they immediately moved the goalpost once they took back the Senate. Rather than saying, oh, well, it's going to be $2,000 checks, they immediately started saying, mm, actually, we meant $1,400 checks because you already got $600. So $600 plus 1400 equals 2000 Except, no, that's not what you said. That's not what you promised. And for all the folks who are twisting themselves into fucking pretzels, trying to do mental gymnastics to explain away this thing, like, don't pretend like we're stupid for th thinking that, like, this mailer that Raphael Warnock's campaign sent out didn't specifically suggest we'd be getting $2,000 checks. If we were supposed to get $1,400, then wouldn't this fake check say $1,400 and not $2,000? So, I mean, they promised $2,000. And in my opinion, anyone who's trying to explain that away is lying to themselves or lying to other people. Like, this is a betrayal. And that's exactly what voters thought as well, who came out to support the Democrats in Georgia. Because as this Mediaite article reports, a betrayal. Georgia voters enraged after Democrats' promise of $2,000 checks becomes $1,400 under Biden's stimulus plan. Now, one voter named Oscar Zaro explains, a lot of people in my district voted blue in the runoff for two main reasons. One, Lothar and Purdue denying us relief during COVID while profiting millions themselves. And two, $2,000 stimulus checks. They really underestimate just how much people are hurting economically, Zaro added, referring to Democrats who he views as reneging on their word. Now, another voter who actually canvassed for Warnock and Ossoff, who knocked on over a thousand doors, said this, at the doors, I was literally telling people $2,000 checks. You can rely on this. I'm a man of principle and morals, and I feel like shit. I lied to them. I was lying to them the whole time. I was lying to people that were relying on this. At the time, I didn't know it was a lie, but that was not the reality. And that's just a small snapshot of the outrage that this lie, and yes, it was a lie, caused. And to make matters worse, they even moved the goalpost further. So we started at $2,000 checks. It was very quickly moved to uh, 1400 and now it is uh, getting watered down even further because Reuters reports that Biden is now open to further means testing the $1,400 checks in order to accommodate right-wing idiots like Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema. But that's not all. Chuck Schumer is now suggesting that it's going to take another month, if not month and a half, to get checks out the door. So we started out at $2,000 checks next week to $1,400 means tested checks by maybe March. This is outrageous. And if Democrats think that this isn't going to come back to bite them in the ass hard, they are horribly mistaken because this is outrageous. Like usually when politicians lie, there's some space between them saying something and then doing something else. But this is like a really quick 180. Like we're breaking records here. So to recap, as David Sirota points out in an article for the Daily Poster, on January 4th, Joe Biden made an unequivocal pledge telling voters that by electing Democrats to Georgia Senate seats, you could make an immediate difference in your own lives, the lives of people all across this country, because their election will put an end to the block in Washington on that $2,000 stimulus check. That money will go out the door immediately to people who are in real trouble. Less than four weeks later, Biden is pushing $1,400 checks rather than using his election mandate 
to demand new full $2,000 checks. Democrats are now suggesting that it could take at least until March to even pass the legislation, even as the economic crisis worsens. Biden is now responding to threats of Republican obstructionism by floating the idea of reducing the number of people who would even get the checks. Reuters reports that he is open to negotiating the eligibility requirements of his proposed $1,400 COVID stimulus check, a nod to lawmakers who have said they should be more targeted. The signals of retreat are happening even as new polling data shows that the original promise for a full $2,000 survival check is wildly popular. And at risk of being overly redundant, we're going to play exactly what they said one more time. We will be able to pass $2,000 stimulus checks for the people next week when we win these races in Georgia and get economic relief directly into the bank accounts of the American people who are suffering right now. By electing John and the Reverend, you can make an immediate difference in your own lives, the lives of the people all across this country, because their election will put an end to the block in Washington on that $2,000 stimulus check. That money that will go out the door immediately, tell people who are in real trouble. So this is a complete failure on their part. You promised something that would have immediately given people material and economic relief. And you're backing away that quickly. This is honestly the dumbest politics I've seen in quite some time, both Democrat or Republican. This is just, it's insane. The good news for Democrats, as David Sirota points out in that article, is that it's not too late. You can still not look like asses. You can still do the right thing. You can still give folks $2,000 that was promised and you could do it immediately. You don't have to wait till March. You don't have to include these $2,000 survival checks with some broader economic relief plan. You could just pass the checks as standalone checks. That'll be easy to hold people accountable because, you know, there's not this question of, oh, well, was there bad things with this bill? Was there things that I disagree with? Was there too much pork? You could just simply say, look, we just passed a clean bill, $2,000 checks, and these are the folks who voted against it. And in effect, they voted against you. It would be so easy. Like, it's, it's an easy way to cultivate support for you. But they can't even do the bare minimum. The bare minimum. Democrats just like they are their own worst enemies. They, they can't help themselves. It's like they have to find a way to fuck up even when they're playing on the easiest difficulty imaginable. Anyone who's against $2,000, like if this is about you not being able to get support because Kirsten Sinema or Joe Manchin don't support this, I mean, you can easily point to them as the reason. You could point blame. There's account accountability here. It, like this isn't that difficult. It's wildly popular. There would be immense public backlash if anyone went against this and specifically, like, single-handedly prevented these checks from going out. But there's just, there's no fight in Democrats. No fight whatsoever. So at this point, I don't even know that we're going to get $1,400. <laughs> like, if we get it by March, I'd be surprised. They've moved the goalpost so much that by the time you see this video, like, by the time it's uploaded to YouTube, I wouldn't be surprised if they change the story even more. Like, this is just, this is abuse. Like, you promised people something and you lied to them. It was a lie. So it's outrageous. And nobody should give them a pass for this. Like, this is 100% a betrayal. And it's, quite frankly, pretty fucked up that they did this. But, I mean, they can turn it around. They could still not look like total asses if they actually just do what the fuck they said they were going to do if they took back the Senate. You know, two thousand dollar stimulus check. You, you, you know. <laughs> you know the, you know the thing, thing. You're getting nervous, man, man.